Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I plan to show you that how to measure this Toyota VVTi engine's timing change, change maximum length. And there is situation that even even in this timing change stretch and burn out when we drive a lot and that's we need to sometimes measure, measure these, these uh, timing chains and how this measurement happens first you need to take this take 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 away this timing chain in your car and in that car there is mileage something like 60,000 miles in this tiny chain and, and then you need to create some kind of measurement place and I have here one example that I have here wooden lock and there is this wooden house this outer outer panel and it is food and in that kind of material it's easy to screws and drill any kind of knives or screws and now I have inserted in, in here this kind of screw what is in here an idea to, is that that I, I need to first insert this this nail or screw in there and then I insert this this my timing chain in there and there is there is in three those measurement points what are yellow there is first one then second and third and all of these we need to do this measurement check and, and this measurement check happens so that the first this chain is in there and then we need some kind of weight in here and I, I use now this standard hammer what I insert in here like weight okay and this is now in weight and this idea is that now this chain is in there in thick ten position and we can measure this thing and And in, in new Toyota VVTi engine there is measurement that in that point in there what is this I moved that little bit this first bolt nut in just below of this yellow label and this mark symbol in that that area and in this this in upper area of this bolt and and then we go in down 16 16 those those uh, those bolts those this is like I am calling this like bolt and then we go to 16 and then we check this upper area in the 16 and then we measure that distance between that first one upper area to 10 to 16 ones upper area and this length must be less than 4.9 so, sorry 4.8 inches is this maximum this length and this means that this even this metallic parts when we drive a high mileage like 300,000 miles this this becomes a little bit bigger and wider this metallic metal is interesting because it is it is like stretch material and stretch material means that that this is stretch this is my glow and in that way metallic also moves but this movement is really small and this this movement is something like 
one or three mil millimeters and 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 those amounts are really small but even metallic is is also flexible and then I start to do that measurement and I have now this metric scale and I have inserted that in here that there can't be this maximum amount can't be uh, 12 centimeters point to 12 12 point 12 dot 2 centimeters and that means that that 4 dot 8 inches okay let's let's look that what happened and I this is this first measurement point is that one and then I calculate this is like number one and then 16 down down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is in there, the 16. Okay, that one. And also in that upper area, where this point, sharp point is, and then this upper area. And then we look in this upper area. And if this, this number one point is, is more than this sharp area, then this length is too much and now we can see that this number one upper area is a little bit down this this sharp point and this means that that now this this uh, cha cha chain is okay but if situation is now I move that in this position in that kind of situation then then this chain is faulty and we need to replace this new chain Okay, and this was first measurement because this chain can be can can be stretched in different position, and so I I rotate this number second place. What is in there? And I rotate that in, in this upper area. Okay, now it comes in there. It comes in there. So, and then I insert this, my weight, weight in this, in here. Okay, very good weight. You can use any other weight too. Okay, and then we go to measure. And so, this was point number one and now I I think that, that this is more better I use my special pencil that I will do here, here yellow marking in this number 16 bolt okay and then I use very nice this this metallic painter and and pencil this is so fantastic and this is this is made by Sakura is the company and there is mark frights and paints on any surface there is this text and this is suddenly made in Japan and excellent this works in in wet conditions and hot conditions and in very high temperatures and low temperatures like in Alaska and also in Florida and now I measure this point 16. Okay, let's go to calculate. This is first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. And this is now 16 in here. And I I do in here small yellow comment and now we know that that this is in here 16 
Oh, sorry, I calculate wrong. It should be the lower one. Yes, it is the lower one. It is. It should be that one. Okay, now I need to take this in somehow away. Okay, I managed to take, and then I do this measurement. Okay, good. I take my measurement tool and let's measure these things in here. This number one upper and then in here down. Okay. And this means that this is also great result because the sharp point in here is is more than this number 16 this point okay and this is also fine and then we do this last and third measurement and there is this this number 13 point in there and then I calculate 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. And 16 is, is then this upper one, this, sorry, lower one of this yellow label. And let's, let's check. Okay, and, and it, I calculate again. It must, this must be in 16, because my Measurement is in right position. Okay, and this means also that that now when we look this first one and then upper one, this is less than this my maximum distance. Okay, and this also this third measurement shows that that this timing chain is okay. Okay, and this is fine. And now we have made this this measurement, and and if we this this timing chain, this uh, mileage was this 60,000 60, miles, and if we do this measurement again, something like 300,000 miles, then this this length could be a little bit longer. But even that, this chain chain can be can be usable okay and this was information and thank you for watching